What's going on, you noob coders? I bet you have seen and used an NPM package before and you have thought, hmm, making this must be so hard. But let me tell you, the only hard thing here is my dick. So today you will learn how to create your own NPM package and then post it online so other virgins, aka programmers, can also use it. So let's just roll the intro and let's start. Yeah, there's no intro, whatever, let's go. Okay, so you can see here that I currently have a folder called package and it is empty, like my heart. But this is where all your package code will live. Right now, let's not touch that. It is too soon and she doesn't like it that way. And let's move on to GitHub. And the first thing that we want to do is just create a new repository. It could have any name, but I recommend using the same name as your package because life is already hard with COVID, Java, and me being this beautiful. So let's try not to make it harder. So my package is gonna be called MI Sexy, and that's the name of my repo as well. And now let's just click on create repository. And now what we want to do is just copy all this thing that is here, and let's go back to VS Code and just open a new terminal and cd into the package folder and now i'm just gonna paste the code that i just copied and you see now we have a readme default file created that we will touch later now the next step is just to initialize the package.json file which is the file that contains basically all the information about your package you know like the name the version the sexual orientation so to do that in the terminal we just type npm in it now we will get asked a couple of questions so package name this is the name of your package <laughs> i know i'm a genius and i'm gonna use the same one as my repo so m I sexy. Now the version, I will just leave it as it is, 1.0. The description is just, is this person sexy? Now the entry point, this is basically the file where our initial code will be stored. The default is index.js, we will leave it as it is and we will create it later. Test command, uh, I don't even know what the f that is, so yeah, just leave it like, like that. Now, git repository, because we are cool, we are already linked it, so just leave it as it is. Keywords, just any key that is related to your project, in my case, just, I don't know, sexy. The author is gonna be Samuel Miller because haha, <laughs> that's me. License, yeah, MIT, we don't really care. And we are done, is this okay? Yes, am I okay? Probably not, but yeah, uh, whatever. And now our package.json file was created with everything we just already set. And now, as I mentioned before, we have to create the index.js file. So let's just go here, new file, and write index.js. JS. And now this is the precise moment where we start crying because <laughs> we have to code. So this is the file where all our code will belong. Anything you want to export has to be written here as of now. So I'm just gonna start with a very basic function that I'm gonna call mi sexy and a parameter called name. So this will return true only if the name is equal to Samuel because I am sexy. So this is the module that we want to export. So we just write module that exports equal the name of my function, in this case, am I sexy? And that's it. That's all the code that we needed. And now all we have to do is just publish our beautiful creation to NPM. But Sam, shouldn't we test our code every time before pushing it to production? Well, let me tell you, testing is for pussies. But yeah, let's let's just do that. So to test it locally, let's just go to the terminal and write the common NPM link. This will basically tell the computer, hey bitch, take everything inside this package folder and make it a local npm package cool now let's try to use it so to do that let's just create a new folder outside of package folder for testing and how is it going to be called testing so yeah testing and inside that folder i'm just going to create a new file that i'm going to call main.js now you just have to import the package as you usually do it in your projects so since this is a known module i'm just going to write const mi sexy equal require m i sexy and now to test it i'm just gonna do console.log m i sexy i'm just gonna pass samuel as parameter and it should return true but before we run it we have to install it locally so let's just move to the location of our testing folder and we have to use again the npm link command followed by the name of your package so in my case m i sexy and yeah, now hopefully this shit works. And to know that we just have to run this script and to do that, we just write node main.js and it prints true. That means our creation works. And my parents have never said that. Okay, now that it's tested, all we have to do is just post it online. So the first step to publish it is going to npmjs.com and create a new account. And now listen careful because you cannot skip this step because I will f kill you. After you create your account, you have to confirm your email address. If you don't do that, you cannot post online. So you just do it, okay? And once you have done that, you have to come back to VS Code and to the terminal and now write npm login. So you write your username, and your password, of course. And also your email address. I'm not gonna show mine, so yeah. 
Thank you. Once you're logged in, let's just navigate back to our package folder. So CD back and then CD package. But before we publish it, let me tell you something that might be important for you. Sometimes the name of your packages are already used, so you cannot just publish another package with the same name. So to avoid that, you can just go to your package.json file and change the name of your package, adding first your username. In my case, add Samuel Marina and then slash am I sexy. And now it is pretty sure that you can publish your package. And to do that, we just have to run the command npm publish followed by dash dash access equal to public and this last part is very important if you don't add it you will get an error and i will not tell you how to fix it so now let's just press enter and hope everything goes well and yeah our npm package is now online and other people can see my stupid code and if you go to npm package and you click on packages you can see that mine samuel marina am i sexy is already posted and now you see everyone can see it and use it but yeah that's it that's basically all you need to know when creating a new npm package i hope this tutorial work for you it's the first time that i make a tutorial and i hope you didn't die so if you enjoyed the video don't forget to click the like button and subscribe also i just released new merch face mask uh, let me just show you oh yeah look how sexy i look and you see this face mask is not only for covid but you can also avoid people from kissing you but yeah just go buy them at the noobshop.com you can also check my main channel and my instagram and my twitter all the links are in the description thank you so much for watching and until then ciao